not as bad as yesterday, but there is still a long line of cars heading into Julian to get a last glimpse of that snow before it's gone. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is joining us live. Allison, people who live in Julian are upset about the way the tourists are behaving in their small town. Yeah, some are calling it a double-edged sword. On the one hand, the locals like all the business that all the tourists bring. In fact, just take a look. You can see there's still a lot of people cruising around here on Main Street on foot, in their cars, still lots of traffic here. But there are issues with trespassing and lots of trash. Downtown Julian was packed with snow and apple pie lovers Friday, but it was nothing like the scene just one day earlier as Flatlanders drove up the mountain. Some of them stuck in traffic for up to six hours for a drive that usually takes less than two. When you have a traffic jam that goes from Julian to Poway and Julian to Descanso, that's a lot of people. Rick Campbell owns the Bird Watcher, but says his store doesn't see that many shoppers because the people are all lined up for pie and hot chocolate. And then there's the problem of people letting their kids sled on other people's property. We live a couple of blocks from here and we probably had 50 people in our backyard yesterday. And it's my backyard. We looked on Facebook and found plenty of locals with similar complaints. Melissa Sanchez wrote, all the snow traffic to Julian is resulting in people leaving trash, beer cans and bottles and even dirty diapers in the streets and on people's property. And from Becca Vargas, it looked like the remnants of a frat party early this morning. The good people of Julian were out very early cleaning up. Dumpsters like this one were filled with garbage that had already been picked up. But we found more along the streets and in the planters of this usually quiet, quaint town. Everybody to kind of like uh, just enjoy and, and keep uh, away from uh, personal property and just enjoy life. Yeah, and you can see that the snow is really melting here, and, uh, and the perfect storm is over. That perfect storm being that the storm came in right when people had the day off for New Year's. The kids were out, and a lot of people brought them up here. They expect it to be busy this weekend, but not as busy as it was yesterday. We're live in Julian. Allison Ash, 10 News.